the show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Today, we bring you Diamond Dynasty action between the Yankees and the Nuts. So that'll bring in Byron Buxton. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. For New York, the center fielder, Byron Buxton. First pitch on its way. Now a flare out toward right center. Strange Gordon calls for it. One away. So bases right. are empty. with one gone the and here leader. comes the lifelong Robin. brewer Robin Yao. Yeah. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Clear skies this afternoon. 84 degrees is our first pitch temperature. Here's a swing and a miss. One and one. Now the pitch. And here's a pitch swung on and missed. One and two now. He's going to have to set his sights a little lower right there. That pitch was able to get by him. His swing was just a little under that one. Swing and a miss of one in the dirt. Mercedes puts the tag on him, and there's two out. And late now is Vladimir, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Jr. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0-1. What I love right there is just the freedom in that hack. He ain't trying to do anything but hit the baseball as far as he can. Behind 0-2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Breaking ball swung on in the dirt. Mercedes has it. And that ends the inning. Now into the box, D. Strange Gordon. It'll lead things off here in the bottom Lima. half of the first. The second baseman. D. And the pitch. Strange Gordon. Try to bunt for a base hit here as he gets this one down. And an off balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. No one on with one That's down. And that'll Better bring up Andrew. Fernando Tatis Six. Jr. Junior. Out in front of it, strike one. And it's fouled away. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Hey, if he's going to execute that curveball, and that's the first one of the day, if he's going to execute it like that, be on the lookout for that one. That's going to be a big pitch for him today. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Gone! Yeah, we always talk about how important it is to spot your starter or run or two early in the game, and he does just that, blasting a no doubt bomb that serves notice. They're going to be swinging with the wood here. No better way to get the home crowd into it right out of the gates. That is good. Here's Byron but Buxton now. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball Buxton. one. High in the air out to center field. Buxton is there now and he has it two gone. Here's Ryan McMahon now cool. looking to get on base, base and keep this first inning Ryan. alive. McMahon. As he will take strike one on the fastball here no balls and a strike. Hey when you're featuring a mid 90s fastball like this pitcher attack with that pitch get ahead get the offense on their toes that opens up the off speed pitches later in the game. And another foul ball. The 0 2 once more. And on 0 2, he misses with a fastball. High fastball right there with a two strike count. You know what that might be doing? Setting up the next pitch could be that hard slip. And the throw to first is there. The inning is over. Second inning set to go, and set to go is the third baseman, Josh Donaldson. The third baseman, Josh Donaldson.
Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. That's a real nice location with that fastball up and in on the hands. Hard to do much with that because a hitter really can't extend his arms very easily. Strange Gordon has a play, looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. So one down, no one aboard. And digging in at the plate will be Justin Turner. Here's the first pitch to him. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. Every time you go out there to start a game on the mound, you hope to settle in quickly and get into a groove, and he's definitely done that so far in the early going. Looks like he could go pretty deep that into this it. one. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Justin Turner is sent packing for out number two in the inning. Joey Gallo stands in as he can't connect here, 0 and 1. Uh, this is what you get fired up for right here. Hard fastball against a power hitter. I know he was late right there, but if he comes back, this one might not come back. Looked like the curveball slipped out that time. Really high curveball right there. Struggling with the release point. That's the key to the curveball, figuring out and finding that release point. Counts even two and two to Joey Gallo. Got him swinging, and that's the third out. Last half of the second set to go, and standing in the outfielder, Fran Moreyes. And breaking balls bounced out towards second, and that's through for a hit. That'll bring in Nick Sola, as he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. Oh, he looks like he's toying with him here. It's 0-2. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Drilled on the ground is short. A diving try, but he can't haul it in. It's through for a base hit. Long throw to third, and he's safe. Shohei Otani digging in next. As he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. High in the air out to center field. Catch is made. Runner tagging from third. Top of the throw will be well up the line as he scores easily. Now to the plate. Here is your Mercedes. The first delivery to him. Sola leads off first with one away. Now here's a swing and a ball hit well out there toward right center. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. And this will bang up against the wall. He pulls into third safely as also on the play a run comes across to score batting nine, the pitcher at the plate Bob. now Bob Gibson he'll try Gibson. to punt his way on as he gets this one down throw to first in time but the safety squeeze there gets him a run the batter, now back to the six. top of the lineup Second stepping in D strange Gordon Three. he'll try to punt his way on as he gets this one down. Throw to first, beats him easily, and the side is retired. Top of the third set to get underway, and in steps the catcher, JT Real Muto. First offering. Well behind that fastball, it's a swinging strike. Gibson has made a name for himself as a starter that simply misses the barrel of the bat. He rarely allows a large number of hits, and he does a pretty good job at keeping the ball in the ballpark when the hitters do make contact. Yeah, Matt, and that's not an easy thing to do. I think one of the reasons is he changes speeds really well, and he throws both sides of the plate. One of the keys to missing the barrels, you have to be able to throw inside and throw outside, and he's about as good as it gets in baseball at missing barrels. On, he just ramps up and gears the fastball by him. 0-2. A swing and a miss, and another punch out here. Six already, and that's out number two. You're Jorge Soler will get the now call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Jorge Soler. First pitch coming, here it is. As he will swing and miss on a fastball on the outer half, it's strike one. Man, that's seven straight strikes to start this inning. He's got a chance at an immaculate inning. 
wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Wow, kind of an interesting pitch call there. The batter flailed at the pitch away on the previous one, so you'd think you'd go right back there, but instead they decided to come in. Make him prove he can adjust before you do. And he got another one here. He strikes out the side. He set down five. Houston Street is going to come on to pitch now, here, and in just the third inning, you have to think he'll be asked to eat some innings. And that'll bring up Fernando Tatis Jr. He'll get us going in the home half of inning number three. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Tatis is one of the few true superstar hitters in the game. You're no doubt aware of it, but it doesn't matter who he's facing. He's a major league threat to hit the ball hard somewhere just about every time he steps into the box. Yeah, one of the best hitters and, and truly blessed by the gods, but I don't think people realize the amount of time and effort this guy has put into honing his craft to become one of the great hitters in our sport. So he sets him down swinging. Fernando Tatis Jr. is retired for the first out here in the bottom half of the third. And he'll get in there safely. The third baseman, number 24, Ryan McMahon. Into the box, Ryan McMahon pitches a cold strike. The throw, he's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. Getting a few steps off a second there, now the pitch. Oh, he pulls the string on the circle change, one and two. Guess who tipped their hand? They were sitting all over a piece of cheese. He flew open on the front side. High in the air down the right field line. And that is off the wall, but in foul territory. Foul ball. Fouled off. And he struck him out. So he's down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. The bat. First pitch the on field. his way. And Run look here. out as that fastball ran in and right got him. Outspring. Stepping up is Nick Solak. Two on, two out, back. four in here in the third. Not in time. And how about that for Daring? It's a two out double steal. Late decision to swing that time, and as a result, it's 0 and 2. On 0 2 here, he doesn't have to give in with a great pitch to hit. He's got a base open, so he has to pull. One run is in. Throw comes to second, and the second run will score as well as they've opened it up to 6 0 now. Now batting. Right Next field. up, the two way Shohei. Japanese import, Shohei Otani. He hit a sack fly earlier. Oh, he looks like he's toying with him here. It's 0 and 2. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That can be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. Here comes the 1 2. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. And that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning. Into the box now, Yerman Mercedes. Fouled away. He found his way over to third via a triple in his first at bat. And he fouls this one off. Four runs here in this half inning. Another one sent foul. You can really tell they're trying to keep the ball in on this big slugger right here. Is that an effort to keep him from getting extended, do you think? Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt. But he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. Here comes the one, two. Popped him up. Riamuto is there to put it away and finally put an end to the inning.
New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring up the speedy outfielder Byron Buxton. If you look at their win percentage or something like that right now, got to be honest, the odds are obviously stacked against them. But I'm looking for them to show me something right here. Maybe they get back in this game. Maybe they don't. But I want to see what kind of at-bats they put together. This is where you have to lock in as a team. Every guy has to go up to the plate and have a good, productive A-B to get this team going. The next 0-2. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Stepping in once again is Robin Young. Struck out in his first at bat. Robin. Now the pitch. Young. Popped up. Solak in foul ground. And that's the second out of the inning. Now at the plate, here is Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Had him reaching that time. It's strike one. I'd like to see this lineup start working the count a little bit more and drive up this pitcher's pitch count. Swing and a miss, and he's quickly in the hole 0 and 2. Hey, this is an amazing inning right here. Attacking the zone, keeping his defense invested. Chance to get off the field super quick. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. And here's one that barely misses off the inside corner. Two and two. Well, two straight fastballs inside haven't put him away. Uh, we'll leave it right there as he strikes out, and that ends the inning. So here now is the pitcher, Bob Gibson, who dropped a sacrifice bunt in his last plate appearance. The pitcher. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Gibson. And he throws the fastball by him here, 0 and 1. It's funny. That pitch. I can picture being in the box. That pitch looks so good to hit, and why does no one ever get to it? A good executed high fastball usually blows nine out of ten guys away. Behind 0-2 now. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. And now here is D. Strange Gordon. And with an impressive contact attribute, he's a gold player who's a really tough out. Yanked hard, but foul to the right. The wind up and the 0 1. Bases are empty, one man out. Sent out to straightaway center field. Center fielder giving chase. He can't get to it. This one's down. Up next is Fernando Tatis Jr. as he will swing at the first pitch and line this one into left center and that's going to get down for extra bases. Strange Gordon rounds the corner and is headed home and the runner will score from first. And he will score on the inside the park home run and that was a gift right there. Here now is our